Hello everyone and welcome to another Destiny 2 guide video. In today's video we're going over the Grandmaster Warden of Nothing. So you can get out there this week and farm those duty bound rifles if you so desire. Uh, we get this done pretty easily without much work. Simple builds to put together. Um, and we're gonna, without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So the first build is the one I'm running. And that is of the Fusion Grenade build um, that is very popular this season. Um, it's pretty standard. I will have a Tim link into it um, down below. But I am going to be running the New Purpose um, Pulse Rifle and the Nine Hunger. The Pulse Rifle is for the Anti-Barrier. Galahorn there is for the Solar Burn for this um, Grand Master. There are Void and Solar Shields. So that is why I'm running the Nine Hunger is for those Void Shields. And let's get on to the next two builds. So the next two builds from Rick and Josh are just um, Blade Barrage Hunters. Um, you can see they're both going to run Galahorn. Rick here has got a Void Scout for Unstoppables. He's got a uh, New Purpose as well for the Anti-Barriers. Um, there are all three champs in this GM. So you're going to see uh, Overload there from uh, Josh in the top. And then Insidious Pulse with a Galahorn as well. We got Void and Solar Shield and Solar Burn, so we got everything covered, which is great. I'm gonna link down below uh, my Star Eater Scales Blade Barrage build. You can really build this Blade Barrage out as much, as however you want. You can see that Rick was using Shards of Galanor. Josh isn't using any exotic. You can use whatever you want. Uh, Star Eater Scales works great. Blade Barrage, um, for Blade Barrage, huge DPS numbers. Uh, Shards of Galanor to get that Blade Barrage back even quicker, fine. However you want to run it, it's totally up to you, but I'll give a you know a guide to my build that I run um, down below in the description. And uh, let's get right into the GM. So again, if you're new here, uh, we do a little bit differently to the guide videos. I like to watch a full run and critique it, and not only does that help myself improve, but it also, I can, I can help you guys kind of determine why we're making the decisions we are and why we're doing the things that we're doing um, so that you can try to understand our logic behind the processes. Um, in these first areas, we're just we're just going to trash. Let's just move through it quickly um, and, and get to the real first like little area up here on the right. Um, but you can see the Nine Hunger works really well um, you know, to really pinpoint those weak spots. But we're going to get behind cover here. I'm going to drop the Empowering Rift. It gives both of us um, more damage to take out these trash mobs. Um, as long as well as my you know my grenades that really help to wipe everything out pretty pretty um, excessively I guess um, but there is a champ back there so that's why we're not pushing forward too much um, we want to kind of take our time be methodical keep those grenades going out. if you're the warlock here keep those grenades going out you don't need to have two hunters we like it because of the um, added damage for burning the boss at the end um, so if you have two warlocks with the grenade build that's great too right um i probably should have saved my rift there but it's all right um so you can see here we're just um trying to work out this this champ get him down get him gone these grenades do great work um again for those hunters they won't be on the build description but running um revitalizing blast to help with the stuns on the champs doing damage and get that solar blast it is great help here classy restoration for this season also is a massive help to everybody um especially with a with a high mobility rate for those for those um uh, hunters it's great so we'll move the train we've all done this um strike before don't get hit by a train don't do that to your teammates even though i do i've done it i've done it many times but be cautious wait for the train when the train goes by move up clear the ads etc rinse repeat right you guys get the deal Nothing crazy. Be careful. They do hit hard. You know, watch out for these pools on the ground, too. Those things do a ton of damage to Grandmasters. Yep, someone get hit by the train. Happens every time, guys. Happens every time. We're just going to keep pushing up. Um, once you get up to the end of this tunnel, um, they'll stop coming, so you can drop in. That was probably the last one. We're going to get him up here, and we're going to drop down in. So when you drop down in, just watch for the trains as they pass. The last one to pass, go on that side with your sparrow. Don't even worry about that guy. Hopefully he doesn't blow you up. But 
when you come in do watch out because you can't be blown up here by that little barrel right there um i'm gonna blow this guy up and take out that barrel and you can see i go right for the other barrel to move that so it doesn't kill any of our teammates uh, i'm just gonna push up first uh, objective is get that hydra out of there um his shields are annoying and if he decides to start targeting you like he is right there instead of targeting the cabal up at the top he can really start to do some uh, damage to you and your team i'm gonna pop my rift get some classy get some grenades on him and get him gone get him gone faster that probably should have been done faster i stick a grenade to the top that was helpful um and then the second priority here is the champ uh, red bars aren't going to hurt that much get that champ stunned uh he is unstoppable i'm not running unstoppable so i'm just kind of doing some damage to him but uh, get him stunned, get him gone. You can see the grenades from that fusion build just keep going out. As soon as you get them back, just keep them coming, keep them coming. Keep those um, grenades working because they do a ton of damage and they will help your team uh, a lot. I mean, they, they are the bread and butter um, for this build. So, um, no thing to note about the builds that I'm putting in the dim is that I don't have bountiful wells for some reason. So, um, Bountiful Wells is huge. You can slot that in there into Solar Piece. It is a helpful, helpful piece. So we're going to push up here. Oh, they already killed him. Um, so there's usually a champ right there. Just kill the trash in front of him. Kill the champ. Move up. Use these rails. Um, instead of getting hit by another train, use these rails to push forward. Um, keeps you out of danger. Keeps you away from the trains. You come up on these first ads. Just clear them out real quick. Nothing crazy. This is, you know, this this used to be like a really hard champ. Like uh, this season, just with with, with Solar 3.0 and and Void 3.0, the the GMs just seem to be a lot easier. It's great. I like it. But we take those ads out. We push up. We have a couple champs here. Um, there's a barrel. There's an explodey barrel down there. Yep, there you go. If you can get those get shots on those barrels, you can pretty much clear out every ad except for the the champ, which is back there. You can see. And we're going to try to take him out again. I believe he's an unstoppable. So you can see that uh, revitalizing blast explosion there. It's really clutch. But just take him out. Keep the grenades coming. Another revitalizing blast. It's good. All right, grenades. Don't don't go heavy. Like If you have this grenade build, you really don't need to use much of your heavy. You can see we haven't used it at all. Um, don't Don't... Don't waste your heavy. I mean, you know, obviously you could run Aeon Swifts or something like that with these Hunters, but you don't really need to. You know, pack the damage somewhere else. The grenades just keep going out. I stick another one to the ceiling. Well done. Well done. Keep the grenades coming. Clear them out. Move. Don't push too close on him. You can get up there to finish him if you want, um, but it's, it's not really worth it. Keep going. Push in. We got one death so far. It's pretty good. Push in. Again, the explodey barrels. They're your best friend. Keep going. This next room can get a little difficult um, just because of where the positioning is. Um, but you're going to see, I think one of us goes down. And then I come in with the well. Just lead with the well, guys. Lead with the well. Okay? Lead with the well. Get these red bars gone. Like these initial ones. And then, if you're running two Warlocks, just chain your Wells back to back. But, like, drop that Well. You're going to see me. I'm going to try to, you know, kind of head glitch and peek out these guys. Josh is up there trying to get some shots. You know, I like to try to prioritize these Hydras first. Um, I do burn some Heavy here to try to get him gone and get all the adds gone. But he hurts, man. Like, that, that those Void shots right there, they hurt. Um... So I push up to try to help Josh with some of these um, champs. And, yeah, he goes down. I almost do, too. Lead, this is what I'm saying, lead with the well. Get up there with the well and, and get that Hydra gone. That Hydra is causing so much damage on that right and with that sniper on the top right. The sniper, the, I think he's a barrier champ. Like, get him gone. Like, he's, he's lasting. This is where I, I think we could improve as a team. Like, we, we let these guys chill here way too long. Way too long. Um, get them gone quicker. Totally. 
And then once you get that Hydra down, Hydra down now after that Galhorn shot. Um, keep the keep the healing effects coming. Um, get yeah, get that champ gone. Perfect. Yep. Hydra champ on the right. Get those gone. You can then focus on the left. Run out of classy. Yeah, perfect. Yep. That's what we should have started with instead of toying around with all the other stuff. That's what we should have done to start. So then we're working on this one on the left. Again, just, just, just team fire, focus fire on this guy. Get him gone, and you, hopefully the train doesn't get in your way, which at a bad time, and allows him to heal you know, like that could have. Um, yeah. yeah, keep the grenades going on him. It's perfect. Perfect, like perfect, perfect. All right, now you got all those gone, you can push up. Um, I like to go up to the left here. Um, if you are running another Warlock, um, have that warlock drop the well on this corner not the corner i'm standing on right now but i'll show you like right behind that barricade right in front of me he can drop the well right there and again that allows you guys to sit in the well and do do all the damage you want and, and be safe right so have him push up drop the well right behind that barricade and see that's in front of josh and it'll really help really help make this this part a little bit easier if you have to, if you have two warlocks you don't really need to as you'll see but watch out for that um, that that heavy that's pushing around the the uh, void. Uh, he's gonna push around and come up the stairs behind you if you don't get him. So when the boss teleports here, burn him. Shards of Galen Argo is out. A couple grenades go out. Get him gone. Don't let him move again. Okay. As soon as he teleports there, you can see we did it very quickly. Both hunters just shards of Galen Boom, done. Get him gone. I check a grenade. I didn't even need to. Um, just get him gone. Get him gone quick. Um, but yeah, definitely watch out for that Void Shield Vex. He'll come around the back if you don't kill him quick enough and uh, come up the stairs and kind of wreck you guys. Okay, I'm going to go upstairs. Push through. So this is, um, this next room really is just slow and steady wins the race. Um, don't, don't push up too hard because when those champs start pushing back, it can really hurt. Um, just get those scions gone. Chuck a grenade over here if you have one. Um, it, it, that, that really helps. I don't know why I'm not using my grenade. I should have. You know, see, one of the hunters uses his instead. I should have used my grenade earlier. So that's where I can improve. Shoot him. Get him gone. And then you have champs. Champs are your next priority here. And see one pushing us already as the warlock yep drop the rift get your grenades out get them going as fast as possible yep 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 perfect 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 just keep them coming too right revitalizing blast goes off all of it goes off just get him gone as quick as possible um and look for that second champ as soon as the first one goes down look for that second champ and get him get him stunned and get him gone you know I, me not having to stop over here is, is a little rough but I'm getting pushed by him. I can feel a little danger, so I fall back. I know he's low, but yeah. There we go. Good. There is a tanky guy over here on the left I'm shooting. Be careful of him. Um, you get stuck with one of those grenade things that they throw. Yeah, it'll wipe you. But get him gone. Team fire. Looks like we're doing. Use cover to your advantage. And just push through. The rest is just, uh, just, just my bads. Just push through them. Um, I like to go up top once we get up here, get these lower guys down. Um, there are snipers up along that top ridge and stuff. It, you know, just be careful of them. Focus fire. Scout rifles work really well for up there. Uh, Explodey barrels. Don't forget about Explodey barrels. They're helpful. I promise. Let's get in here. There is a void shield to your left, or to my left in the video. Um, break his shield. Get him going. Remember those backpacks, those things hurt. Perfect, 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 perfect. Yep. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Push up. Nice. In this next room, it, it, we, we kind of take a minute to get, get our bearings, get our guns reloaded and whatnot. But this next room is where a lot of teams will wipe. 
so be very careful. We immediately get up, run out, and clear out all of these little slow mines. Um, I've never really done that before, before running with these guys. Um, the people we usually run with, or I usually run with, don't really do that. So I, I kind of like this technique, you know, running around, clearing all these mines. So you don't have to worry about them once you're trying to, you know, disable the, the bigger mines or whatever you call them. Um, I like that. I think I'm going to take that now and uh, and start doing that. So thanks to Josh and Ray for showing me that. I don't know why, you know, I didn't think of that before. But you can kind of chill in this back corner um, and and clear, you know, the, all these champs in the middle from back here, which is kind of nice. It's very safe. It's much safer than doing it from I think where we usually do it. We come to come up that like elevator thing and kind of just go off to the left, up on the little ledge, and drop a well and and and, and rinse people. And that's fine. That works too. But I kind of like back here where you can kind of you know there's a lot of cover. There's a lot of you know a lot of spaces where you can move maneuver around like you see me doing to get that angle on him um and and work these guys down you know with 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 ease um it's nice you you're very safe back here um again the, you know that the power nerf goes down class restoration active and just working these champs just working them okay you get revitalizing blast the solar fulmination blast from my grenades are just doing work on them and it's great like i said i i, I like doing it from back here it's nice it's very safe very methodical, very, like I said, very, and I sound like broken record, but it's very safe. Um, you know, and when, when this area is probably the hardest, I think, um, it's much easier. So right now we're just kind of working out what we're going to do after we kill the last champ. Um, we, we're going to drop a well right in front of that door because that's where the next, next, um, champs spawn. So drop a well and kind of, um, spawn trap them right there and then another one's going to spawn out back here um and, and you'll see us do it here in a second so we're just kind of working out what we're doing again this is kind of my first time running with these guys on this on this gm um so so they were kind of telling me their strats and i wanted to learn what they did and and um they're kind enough to walk me through what they like to do and I, it worked out very well again team firing these last two barriers keep the grenades coming See, I'm going to move up here, just like I was saying before, and I'm going to drop a well right in front of that door. And um, you pr there, there is some spawning going on behind us, but because of the well, you don't really need to worry about it. But we want to focus this champ coming out of here quickly, and you can see we just kind of rinse him. Like team fire, all three of us, he gets out. As soon as this champ goes down, Rick is going to uh, veer off behind us while me and Josh take care of this um this unstoppable rick is going to worry about mine a behind us while me and josh push up to mine b and take out mine b uh, we're going to take out these little ads and as soon as rick's done with a b's going to come up and we're going to be ready for it immediately which is nice the guy behind me. getting a little trouble here because i forgot about the additional spawn but i was able to get out Again, just chucked a grenade at him and had him. So Rick clears that first A. We are now in B, capping B as quickly as possible. Staying in cover, staying, you know, protected. And to me, the, the hardest part's coming up. You know, that move, the move from, from B to C is, to me, where a lot of teams end up wiping. I try to, like, just kind of peek around and move strategically, but it didn't work. So, um... I'm in danger here. Like they, they were up on the, yeah, you know, the ledge up there behind me, and I didn't realize they were staying there. Um, I started to push up, so I popped my class restoration and kind of just um, stay alive while I wait for them to help me clear. Um, I thought we were all moving together, um, but it's okay. We get it done. So last few seconds, I'm gonna pop some heavy. We get in there. Uh, pop classy again stay alive um if this does take too long you know obviously it'll wipe but like watch out for these guys coming behind they'll usually disappear um but if you're like a little behind they will push in like they did and and, and rinse you um it, it's rough that that big vex dude he'll uh he'll hurt he'll hurt man so i push up here because 
that's where we usually do it. And I'm like, oh, we're not going up there. But they show me their strat, which is totally fine. They stay back. They stay back in cover. And they, they work these ads and this spawn, the spawn, this big dude um, from back here, which is very safe. Um, if you guys are looking for like a guaranteed way to clear this stuff with ease, it's very safe to be back here. Where I was up on that ledge in front of where that Scorch Cannon spawns, um, a lot of times we'll just drop a well up there and um, fire some Galhorns at them and kill them quickly. Um, the Galhorns, grenades, and burn them quick and just get them out because then everything else disappears, right? You, you kill the big boss dude and everything else disappears so you don't need to worry about it. Um, but they wanted to be safe. They wanted to be back there. Totally fine. Um you know, our, our clan focuses a lot on helping people and helping people that really don't, haven't done um, harder end game content before. So doing it from back there, I think actually makes a lot of sense when you're taking somebody that may not have done a GM before. Plus you can see, I get into trouble, I can fall back really easily, regroup with my team, and nobody can hit me, right? I'm looking for that boss. I'm kind of over this fight, if I'm being honest. I'm looking for that boss. I'm just trying to get that boss gone. Um, so I'm chucking all my nades at him. I don't want to use my well, though, because I'm no, I know I'm the only well, and I want well for boss fight, and I don't want to have to wait for it. So I don't want to use my well. So I'm using these little bits and bobs of cover to to work that boss down. But, yeah, if you get that boss gone, everything else disappears. So focus the boss. We probably could have been focusing the boss a little bit better, but, you know, cleaning the ads, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea first, right? Explodey barrels. Make sure to take them out. Good. Boss is dead. We move on. Easy peasy. Like like I said, back there, you know, doing it that way is just super safe, super methodical. Um, you know, popping the well in front of Scorch Cannon works just as fine if your team has the the, the means, the heavy ammo, the grenades or whatever it might be to to be able to burn that boss quickly if you can't burn that boss in the first few seconds of him spawning your team shouldn't do it from there because you're probably going to die even in the well but here if you guys don't know it is better you know you can see josh ran up there and activated or it was rick rick went up and activated the chest fell back right and now we're all waiting for the dialogue to be done if you all run in there and you all drop together, most likely it's going to kill to at least two of you. Um, so I don't know what it is that causes it, but um, go in there one at a time. Rick goes in, falls. When he's essentially at the bottom or at this part where it slows you down, the next person can go in. My controller dies, which is fantastic. Yes, I'm a controller player. Josh goes in next. Right. As soon as my controller is back up and running, I get in there um, and just drop in. See, so yeah, I just double check. Didn't have my headset on. So just double check that he's all the way down. Drop in. And then you're going to want to kill at most of the champs from up here. Okay? They won't shoot back. Or if they do, they, they won't do a lot of damage. It, it's a long ways. This is where scout rifles and auto rifles are, are very handy. But kill... At almost all the champs from here leaving one maybe two at the most is what i would say is acceptable um i i wouldn't i would not push in it's a dangerous place um even with two warlocks locks with wells it could still get a little hairy um it, it's um uh, yeah it can get hairy real quick because then they see that they're there and all of a sudden you have all of the champs just focusing you, which is not, not great. It's not what you want to do. So whittle these guys down. Take your time from back here. I mean, we're still only at 22 minutes here for this GM, which is pretty good in my opinion. We had spots where we could have sped up totally. We could totally give the, get this under sub 20. Um, but, you know, playing it safe is, ne is never a bad idea, especially if you're going for, like, your first completion or, or maybe you haven't done this one yet or whatever it might be. Playing safe is, is always important. Um, try to get line of sights um, on these champs as you see them. And whittle them down. Use your pulse rifles. Do what you need to do. And then I think we're going to have one more. 
and we go in. Do not kill the last one from up here, and you're going to see why. But you want to you want to kill the last one from down in the arena or whatever you want to call that area down there. Um, the reason is because the boss spawns almost immediately after, and you want to be able to burn that boss quickly. Everybody should have their super at this point. That's key. Both hunters should have their super. I mean, they haven't used it, so both hunters should have their super. You as the well person should have the super. Um, do not go in if you don't have your supers, okay? Because you need to burn this boss quickly, and you need to burn him um, before he goes into, like, enraging or goes into the next mechanics of, like, lighting the whole room on fire and all that kind of stuff. You don't want to deal with that, trust me. So you want to burn this guy quickly, so kill this last guy, right? And then the warlock is going to go up. You're going to see me do it and immediately drop the well right in the middle. Right in the middle. Like, don't even worry about it. I grab my well to get some um, additional damage. My well, or my, the, the little solar well, gets some additional damage from my guns. The well of radiance goes down. The grenades go out. Galahorns go out. And blade barrages go out. And he's gone, and it's done, and that's it. And you're done. GG's. GG's. All right. But thank you all for tuning in. Um, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, ring that bell for more content from myself, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.